Hi, I'm Puspa. I am an English teacher in SJKT Kajang. Currently, I'm teaching in year four. My lesson today has two objectives. The first objective is the peoples have to name and guess the things. And objective two is to group the items accordingly. I started the lesson by bringing in a box filled with food items. I asked my peoples to name them one by one. It was very easy for them because the items were from their everyday environment. Okay, class, I know that you are all wondering what's inside this box with a question mark, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, who wants to know what I have put into this box? Yes. All right, okay, now I am going to show you all the items from this box one by one and you are going to guess these items. Okay, children? Okay, teacher. For the first item, Okay. What do you see in my hands, children? They are oranges, teacher. That's right, they are oranges. Okay, for the next item, now what do you see? Apples. Yes, that's right, they are apples. Okay, now for these items, I want these two groups to answer. Are you ready, children? Yes, teacher. All right. They are sweets and chips. Class? Are they sweets and chips? Yes, teacher. All right. Now, for this item, I want Pugal to answer. Pugal, where are you? Can you guess what I have for you today? It's a burger. All right. That's good. Okay. For these items, I want these two groups to answer. Okay? Can you name these items? What are these? Carrots and tomatoes. All right. Okay, now for the final item. What do you see in my hands? A bottle of milk, teacher. Right, okay. Now, shall we do an activity with all these items? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, Ainesh, do you think all these items are good for you? I think some items are good and some are bad for our health. Teacher, do you always eat healthy food? Yes, I prefer to eat healthy food. Okay, right. Class, okay, now what I want you to do is to separate all these items into two groups. Who wants to try? <laughs> Wait, let me explain what you need to do. The next part of my lesson was to get my peoples to categorize the food items into healthy and unhealthy foods. I brought in two baskets and asked them to put the food items into the relevant baskets. I also questioned them to elicit responses as to why they categorized the food the way they did. Can you see these two baskets? Yes, teacher. Basket one and basket two. Basket one is for healthy food. Okay, basket two is for Okay, Divashini, what is basket one for? Healthy food, teacher. Good. Kitika, basket two, what am I going to put in? I know, teacher, it's unhealthy food. <coughs> Great. Okay, are you ready, children? Yes, teacher. Okay, I will call a volunteer from each group to come forward and help me put in the things into a correct basket. Please try not to drop anything and be careful when you keep the items into the baskets, okay? Okay, now, for the first item, can I have a, a volunteer from group one? Okay, Shamini, please come forward. I want you to hold these two items. Okay, class, where do sweets and chips go? Basket two. Very good, thank you, Shamini. Okay, next, I would like to have a volunteer from group two. Who wants to try? Okay, Visha, come forward. Okay, I'm going to give these two items to Visha. Is it correct, class? Yes, teacher. Right, okay, thank you. Okay, for this item, um, Adelia, can you come in front? Okay. Okay, I want Adelia to put this burger in a correct basket. Class, 
Is it correct? Burger goes to basket one. Basket two. Seems you're saying burger goes into basket two. I want to know why did you say that? Anyone would like to answer this? Okay, Tarani. Burgers are unhealthy food because it contains a lot of oils and fats. Okay, good, great. Clap for her. That's fantastic, okay? So now, class, you know the bad effects of eating burgers, right? Okay, Adelia, burger goes into which basket? Basket 2, teacher. Okay, good. Clever girl. Alright, now, okay, for our next item, I want to have a volunteer from group 4. Okay, Koshin. Okay, I'm going to give tomatoes and carrots to Koshin. Okay, show to your friends. Carrots and tomatoes. Carrots and tomatoes go to which basket? I want to know, why you said carrots are good for you? Anyone would like to answer? Okay, Pratiba. Carrots are healthy food because they are rich in vitamin C and also good for our eyes, teacher. Yes, you're right. Okay, carrots are also good for our eyes. eyes. Okay, for the last item. Okay, I want everyone to answer. Okay, what is this class? Okay, now, for this bottle of milk, where should I put it? Is it basket one? Yes! Do you think milk is good for us? Yes, teacher! Okay, how many of you like to drink milk? That's good! Okay, yes, Opa then. I want to know, why do you say that milk is good for you? Milk is good for me because it makes my bones strong. Besides that, it helps me to grow healthier. Excellent! Clap for your Opa then. Yes! That's right, okay? Okay, now, uh, we have done grouping all the items correctly. You all did a very good job. Clap for yourself. Okay, so children, what should we eat to get strong bodies? A lot of healthy food. Yoga, can you name some other food? Avocado, long beans, pears, bananas and grapes, teacher. Good. Okay, now Ashwin, I want you to give me some examples of unhealthy food. French fries, nuggets, burgers, fried chicken are a few examples of unhealthy food, teacher. Well done, children. I hope that you will avoid taking unhealthy food and eat lots of healthy food. Okay, thank you. It was a successful activity and the people did very well. I like to use Realia because it gives my people the opportunity to use their five senses while learning the language. I hope that this lesson will give you some ideas on how to teach this topic. And most importantly, I hope you and your people have fun doing it. <laughs>